Good morning. My lucky suit. I'm L Binder. What I want to pitch to you today is a drop dead funny comic strip series called Down the Block, starring Cornbread the Dog. Down the Block takes place right here in the States in a small town. It's got a great multicultural cast of children, and it's all about the dog that they love named Cornbread. Here's the twist. The dog of the strip is a petty career criminal. He's obsessed with money. There's, he has very little sense of right or wrong. It's not if he's going to get the kids into trouble. It's how much trouble he's going to get them into and how much legal assistance are they going to need to get out of trouble. Down the Block's greatest strengths, aside from its trademark humor, is the fact that it's different. There's nothing out there like it. It's got such a mass appeal to it. The characters are instantly likable. Cornbread, what a character. He's a scene stealer and an audience builder, all rolled into one. The kids of the, set, of the strip, they talk like real kids. They have real kid issues. Their little personalities jump off the page, and they work so well together. Uh, it's a great, clean, fast read. There's no nudity. There's no profanity. Uh, parents don't have to worry about Cornbread the dog and his friends. Uh, uh, but anyone can just jump in and read it. Down the Block, starring Cornbread the Dog, is a licensing and merchandising monster waiting to be unleashed by Platinum Studios under their banner. Can't count how many times I've got requests off the website for uh, 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 T-shirts, football jerseys, coffee mugs. A lady in Peoria wants to know if there's a Cornbread the Dog snow globe for Christmas. Um, not going to lie to you. It's been a long, hard road, seven years just to get here. If there's any justice in the world, Cornbread and the dog and his friends need to be yanked off my sight and onto a bigger stage that Platinum can provide. I can go on and on. Time is against me. they got people out there melting. But I can say this. If you just want to laugh, if you're bored, you just want to escape for five minutes, the newest, most funniest group of friends you'll ever meet are waiting to entertain you. All I can say is this, join us. We're down the block. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Very good. Well, you know what? Uh, you're a great salesman. I'll tell you that right now. You're, you know you're... This is, wow. I, I yeah. can't believe I'm standing in front of you. I've studied your work like the Dead Sea Squirrels. And, and you're a great suck up too, but I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's already two points for you I'm putting down here. Um, very, very good. Very good pitch. Very passionate. Um, you, you did mention something which kind of seems to uh, go against um, the family aspect and the fact that your, your, your moms or the kids' moms don't have anything to worry about with uh, Cornbread the dog is the fact that he's a petty criminal. Um, what, uh, how, do, how does that work as a role model for these kids and how are parents not supposed to worry about that? He's not really billed as a role model. If anything, he's an anti-hero. Think about it, he's so three-dimensional. He could be both hero and villain in the same strip. The response I've gotten to it has been nothing but positive. You know, it's, it's like... off the fact that he's a girl and they do the right thing? Like, how do, what, how's, what's that dynamic? I mean, do they learn from what happens? Yeah. It's more like, it's, it's actually a spoof on our legal system. There's like a little subculture running around it. Some of the biggest criminals in the world are right here in the States, and they're all wearing suits and ties. They go through the legal system, and they don't get any recompense. That's what I was aiming for. The kids manage to be his surrogate conscience, especially Kimmy, the little Chinese girl that strips. She has the most sorry, positive. I, uh, I'm not quite uh, getting this. First of all, I sort of feel like you should be pitching this to a local newspaper, to a newspaper, not to a comic book company. It seems like a comic book strip. Secondly, I. I always get a little turned off when people are talking about the marketing uh, possibilities of something when really comics and, and, and these things are made on stories and, and the characters are only going to sell if they're in interesting stories and we really care about a character. And I'm not convinced that I'm ever going to care about uh, a dog that his most outstanding trait is that he's a criminal, that he breaks the law. No, I, w I would actually disagree with you. I think it's pretty cool. I think that, I think that as a starting as a web comic and then moving into print I think could make some sense. Uh, there is nudity in here by the way with the strip you gave us. The dog. But no, I, I think you are a good salesman. I think. Holy Christ, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that you're being a good salesman does help 
I think from what we've seen here is cute. I would, I would certainly, if you were pitching to us and submitting to our company, I would definitely want to read more and see, see if the jokes sustain on their way through. Can I leave you with just this really quickly? The website is up there. There's no denying the cult hit of it. Don't take it in just its one page, one person format. Before you judge me or judge my strip or my work, I'm not being defensive. Give it a chance and read it in its entirety. I know you're busy and you got tons of stuff to do. But win or lose, it's just been an honor being here and be meeting so much more creative people. Thank you. After the winners, we'll read it. Thank you, Maru. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank nice you. job.